How's it going everyone? It's Reversal Trader King where I catch you guys bottoms and tops in the stock market. And this is just, this stock right here is just really beating on my chest and I really have to make a video again on this. Um, it's ticker ACAN. It has wrecked so many accounts. And um, I'm just going to show you guys what do I see, what, what, what do we get at, and um, how to properly trade this. When you see a stock that goes up from, you know, well, it was, you know, 10 cents, but now with this reverse split, three bucks and 40 cents all the way up to 23, you need to be start being very careful. Do I really want to just randomly buy in without doing any research and just start going with the flow? So without doing any research, you really do want to look at the, the charts. I use a very unique setup. Um, I'm going to show you guys how high this really was. This is insane, guys. Even at the meme stock rallies, I've shown this all the time. I just uh, talked about FFIE. As you can see, when you look at the when you hit this upper bands, you sell off fast and you go to your EMA5, which is this purple band. ACAN is none other the same scenario. They are so corrupted that they pump it up. They make you believe something that is not reality. That's what they do. They pump it up super massive. Sure, you can make money like 10 cent, uh 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent and and people think this is never stopping and, and then they, and you know they make it where you they pump it up so much that you'd be like i gotta get it because i'm super pissed that i missed out on this play and you get in and they dump it down with direct offerings secondaries and and now reverse splits it's just a bunch of you know mess right and, and i'm just going to show you guys my honest opinion and honestly why I do not put big money in momentum plays. And this is exactly why. So price goes all the way up. You might ask yourself, what is this red band for the people that don't watch the channel? And if you're new, this is your average to range. I look for values because it, it's the one that makes the most sense. Price has to correct and price has to go to the river to me. Any chart you look at, when price goes up, they eventually go down. We are here to time, you know, when price goes up, we want to time the areas where it goes down. We are trend reversals. Just because um, a chart looks ugly, I look for a trend reversal to the downside. So when you look at this setting, um, it goes all the way up. It's not sustainable up here. And where does price go back down to? At the immediate term, well, since it had really bad news, you hit your EMA 20. You could have made decent money on this. Um, because I did say around this area, I would do for a bounce play. And, and it's sure. Yes, sure. It, it went here in a big upper wick from $4.50 uh, all the way to five thirty four. It just depends, you know, if you were greedy or, or if you were conservative. Yes, you could have made money. This is your trampoline effect. Your EMA 10 and 20, you really get. EMA 5 is more of a bounce type of play. I talked about that with FFIE. But, um, so with ACAN, the problem is any news will wreck any chart. So remember... Uh, these just because you hit your EMA 20 and I tell people after a big move up that's where you'd get your bounce but the problem is it's just been just really terrible and they can't sustain it they do the reverse split and they, they just keep wrecking their shareholders because they know there's a lot of people buying into it and um, they're, they're just really just trying to like milk this whole, whole thing out right so I'm going to go back to four ATR which is um kind of like the standard market conditions Basically, what I tell people to do, I'm looking at this chart, yeah, it has massive spikes, but there's also big beatings you have to go through to get these spikes. But as you can see, when price hits the upper band, it sells off, it's not safe. EMA5 is your bounce effect. You get a nice conservative bounce here, and a lot of people play it from $30 to 37 The you know bigger plays are your EMA10 and 20 But here's the problem. Once you hit those EMA10s and 20s, if you don't guys know what this is, your exponential moving average. Price can go either way, and it can make a drastic return. In this case, it decides to go down. And the problem I see is um, a lot of the times with the non-stable companies, they really are the pumps and dumps type of play. Here and there, you'll get a pump, and then it goes back down. And it gets you a nice return from there. That's how you honestly play the momentums. Is you want to get it right here on this type of candle. But the problem is there's so much bad news that they just go right through. Go right through your entries and exits and just wreck everyone. Um, what, what was... So 
yeah, so what we're seeing, so when we see if I uh, can see, like, the news here, what's happening. So, ba -ba -ba -ba, yeah, they were not, they announced the reverse stock put, um, falls 24%, one for 40. It's not like, it's not like good, but it's pretty up there, right? Um, so yeah, so there's lots of news, and you can see right in here, um, uh, they, they've just been having terrible announces the register direct offering six days ago, uh, and there was another one. But this, uh, besides all that, but yeah, the chart looks like this. Now we're under the bands. We're definitely in a downtrend. If I ever was going to take this trade, if for all everyone that watches me, I'm a bottom reversal. So the, the basically the the best ways to get the money is try to aim it where the price is down over here, and then it pumps and you make money. None of this actually I would take. I'm being straight up honest with you. I'm not going to say like I would have predicted any of this movement and traded it. These are none of the movements I actually would have traded. Um, maybe, actually, this one looks decent. This one looks decent, and I'll tell you why down in here. Um, we have the uh, EMA 10 touch here, and we, we, we have to hit your EMA 10s and 20. So when you know that, it's such powerful knowledge. The more charts you look at, you're like, holy crap. I wish I would have traded the EMAs that like that before. I didn't know it either. I usually would, people would tell me, you got to wait for the crisscross. And, and, and I'll be like, okay, the crisscross from the EMA 5 and 10. And I get in, and then it freaking plummets. I was like, I was like, okay, let's try it again. And I, I, I keep doing it, I keep doing it. And then you'll be like, oh, here's a crisscross. It barely does it, and it plummets. So it's, it's not really the strategy to do. So I kind of like experimented. What is, how do we know where price is going to correct? And where do we know for a price target? You got to know a price target. If you're saying like, I think it will just... If you have no idea where it's going to go, then you you are already going to lose on these trades. So right in here actually was a decent one. We see that EMA 10 is hit here, EMA 20. We know price has to hit the EMA 10. Guess what? It hasn't hit it in like um, anything that don't hit it in one month is super long. So we look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right in here was actually rather beautiful because we know it's going to hit it soon. And guess what? We get conservative gains from accumulating on the end of this candle and this candle, and we want to make sure we're under the EMA 5, and guess what happens? We hit the EMA 10, and we hit the EMA 20, as they always will hit. And that, and look what happens. For being in early, you get to reap the benefits of going from $17 to $40. This is the same thing. So you got to really look at the chart. Does it really respect anything? This chart is the most corrupt. It, it, you know, it goes up and it goes down. They, they lure in buyers. Here's another one. Big upper wick. Guess what? Boop. Back down. It, it, it Nothing. It, it always does that. It, and, and that's why you have a chart that looks like this. You know? So you really got to look at it. Now, if it was like NVIDIA or, you know, more stable company, I'd be like, okay, we're hitting the EMA 20. And I'll show you. What, what's do? I never looked at it. But I guarantee it's a more stable company. And they respect the uptrend type of ways. And here's how you would play it. Right? Um, so right in here, we, we are constantly, once we get above, we constantly respecting what? The uh, EMA 20s. And you can see right in here, you, you hit the EMA 20 and you go up. Here, you hit the EMA 20 and you go up. So once it pulls back, these are your entry points. And then right in here, but here's what happens. They have it a fallout and it goes down. Not every uptrend is going to last forever. But now we're back up in it. And this is just crazy. <laughs> That's another video. <laughs> but anyways, um, ACAN, we, we really do want to wait for the bottom reversal on this trade. Because this doesn't have any respect, in, uh, respect at all in the chart. Uh, the best times you're going to get is hitting that EMA 10 and 20 on bottom reversals and getting in early. That's the only way to play this chart, in my honest opinion. Because when it pumps... It dumps really fast. There's really not much time frame to really run this trade. So if you guys want to join the premium discord and see my re bottom reversal system, get your chart to look like mine and understand like, oh my gosh, ACAN is way up in this upper band. Should I be buying it up in here? And your answer should be no. Um, you want to buy it when price is way under the bands with time distance of not hitting like two weeks of the EMA 10 and you keep taking those conservative games. If you guys want to join the premium discord, it is only 20 cents a day or six bucks a month. I'll put it down below into your YouTube comments below and, and in the comments section, will say join the premium discord for my alerts and, sy and system. 
you can't miss it it'll be all on my youtube but check the youtube comments and i'll pin it and when you click that link it'll take you right to this free chat landing page what you want to do is head on over to the subscriptions tab and hit premium chat when you hit premium chat these are um these are locked so when you hit it it'll opt you to subscribe it's not going to cost you an arm and leg guys i'm telling you i've been in tons of services that cost me hundreds of dollars and I've lost money. And it's very frustrating when you have to pay hundreds of dollars to be part of a service on top of a losing game we're in. We are in, I'm gonna be straight up on it. We are in a losing game. And um, I'm trying to, you know, help people out with a system that makes clear sense where you don't have to have lines everywhere and trying to go into the fundamentals. It doesn't make sense. They have more cash than the stock price. None of that matters. What we're looking at is trend reversals when a price, you know, bottoms and goes up. When is the likelihood of that? And there's tons of data and statistics that support this. So um, when you subscribe, it is cheaper if you do it on a computer. Do it on your computer if you have one because it will avoid the iOS fee. Um, if you do it on your phone, it will charge you a little more. It's not that much more, but if you're worried about a dollar or two or more, do it on your computer. So when you come and enjoy, let me tell you what you're gonna get. You're getting a, you're gonna get the probably the most amount of money for six hours that I've ever seen. Because I've had lots of people tell me I should charge way more, but I'm not gonna do it because I know not everyone has big accounts and they can't go over the fees. Like I said, if I charge hundreds of dollars, hundred dollars, let's just say a hundred, and you have a five hundred dollar account, it's I promise you, you're not gonna make a hundred dollars in a month with five hundred. It, it, it's just not practical. Um, you're going to be frustrated. You're going to trade with emotions. So when you hit the premium chat and subscribe, you'll have my RTK scene trades. These are my exact entries and exits. They're going to look like this. So you, so just so you can get a sample of what it looks like. Um, education videos, you're going to see um, how to properly accumulate reversals. This is one of the most important videos to watch. Um, my swing trading strategy with my indicators to set up. And then the journal, which I'm not going to click on. But this right here is um, my RTK journal is really where you can just see what trades I'm in. You never have to ask me what trades I'm in. You can see the trades I'm in with my exact average. So if you're like, RTK has this stock with an average, I want to get it lower. Sure, you could do that because you have the advantage. You see what I'm at. I don't see what you're at. So you can, you know... It really does help a lot because I could be like deep in pain and you'd be like, okay, I'm going to take on some of this pain and, you know, ride this out now. Right. And while I'm, you know, you, you know how it is. Right. So, yeah, it, it, it kind of helps us know misery loves company and winners like to win together. So if I'm, you know, winning, we win together. If I'm losing, I'm transparent. I'm going to be totally honest with you and be like, I'm, a, I'm in a losing trade. And you can see it right here. But I promise you I'm going to get out um, because I know where my price targets are. And like I said, with this track record, fingers crossed, we're over 95% win ratio. So I'm, I tend to keep it that way. And I had to make you know decisions based on price action in real time. So I hope that really helps, guys. If you guys want to join, it'll be in the YouTube comments below. And um, I re you're really going to like it. If you guys like this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about it. And I uh, really appreciate you guys watching this. And... Uh, much love to all you guys, and I want the best for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the Discord, and peace out.